This is Vanessa Joy here for Adorama TV, and this video is gonna show you how to use a very inexpensive product to create the best lighting setup. Now this is a Glow 5-in-1 reflector. It is the 42 inch, but this will work with some of the smaller versions as well. As long as it's bigger than the person's face you're photographing, you should be pretty good. Now the reason why this is a 5-in-1 reflector is because there are five different ways to use it, but it's one reflector. We're gonna get really creative in how we use this uh, and kind of use it in a way where it's not meant to be used. So. It's five in one because you've got the white side, you've got the silver side, you've got a black side, and you have this gold silver side. And then if you take everything off, you have a diffuser. So what we'll be doing to control the light is we will be using this diffuser, but using this as a bounce on the bottom and essentially creating a clamshell setup. Now the caveat to this is you do need to have a light stand or somebody that's gonna help hold some things for you. So uh, we'll be having an assistant, which is actually our bride's husband. So to do this, we have two separate pieces. Now this works really nicely if you're not in literally ideal lighting conditions like we are right now. Maybe you're in really bright sun and you wanna be able to block or control a little bit of light. This works like a charm. You could also use this with flash if you wanted to, but we'll be sticking to natural light. So the first thing you're gonna use is the diffuser and you'll have it go over your subject's face. So it not just shades and diffuses, but it shapes the light. So I wanted to come as close as I can to her and then tilt down so it creates light coming from above, very big soft light in a top down type way. So this is where you're gonna hold this. Now, this will look pretty good here as is. Let me just take a photo real quick. And let's go as close as I can to there. Nice. So this looks pretty. However, I would love to see a little bit of fill on the bottom. And that's where this comes in. So you're going to hold, here, I'll let you hold that side. <laughs> and you're going to get it pretty close to you. As we lower it, it's just going to create less of a fill. So you'll get more shadows. And I'm pretty high on my ISO because I am hand holding this. So I wanna make sure I'm high on my shutter speed so there's no camera shake. It is a little bit of a shoulder workout, but it's well worth it. Now you can do halvesies, you don't have to have the fill. You could even just have the fill if you wanna get a little bit of light coming back in her eyes, but it's a really neat trick to be able to get a beautiful soft lighting pattern in a place where maybe it wasn't great light. So these are kind of ideal lighting situations. Let's go into a spot where it's not. All right, so I have put Evie in a different spot where if I take a photo of her, the lighting pattern is not everyone's favorite. It's kind of side lighting. It's, you know, it's not like it's bad by any means, but we're just going to change it. Now imagine if she had bright sun coming in here, maybe it's straight overhead. It wouldn't be doing what you wanted. So let's refine it here. So step one, bring this on top. Now we are gonna give this a little slant right there. So this is where you're gonna hold it and then Let's just take one like that. Now this already has softened up the lines. That looks lovely. So it's a little bit better, but I would love to fill it in. And that's where we're gonna add this on the bottom. So you're gonna take that, go ahead and hold it all the way down and then bring it up to your face. Hold it down a little bit more. Keep going, keep going. I wanna see a little detail of the dress too. So that's why I keep moving. There we go. Now it's a little bit softer. So now we have a much softer lighting pattern on her face, much more even light than where we started. And it's easy to mold. I'm gonna give you that also. <laughs> Let's see how much I can hold. <laughs> and now we've even filled in a little bit more on the side, which is kind of fun. Gorgeous. 
I'm gonna go ahead and use some of my basic adjustments over here in my styles. Definitely wanna keep this in color. I tend to use the Joyfully Simple. It has a nice clean look to it. You can see the settings, of course, on the right-hand side if you would like, but that's pretty much what I'm going for. The white balance did change a little bit, in my opinion. It got a little too magenta right here. So I'm just gonna adjust that slightly to the color tone I want. And then maybe come in and make some final adjustments. This looks pretty good right about there for what I'm going for. Lastly, I'll come up into the local adjustment brushes here with all of my presets for retouching the face and go ahead and do that. I don't do a lot of retouching, just some smoothing of the skin, brightening the eyes, getting rid of some of the lines underneath the eyes and whitening the teeth if necessary, which actually in this case, it's not. I don't like to do a ton, but a little bit of pop is always nice. You can find all of these presets at presets.breatheyourpassion.com. And just for a little bit of before and after, see, not too crazy. That's before and after just the local adjustment presets. And this is raw and that's final. And raw and final and before and after just the presets. See, just a little cleaning up, nothing crazy. Anyway, that's what we've got. So not such a bad trick for a little $30, $40 piece of gear. You can get really nice soft lighting as long as you have enough hands to hold it. <laughs> I'm Vanessa Joy here for Adorama TV. Hit the bell, hit subscribe, and leave me some comments below.